today uh, I would like you to take you to onto the ASA and give you some information on how the ASA functions and get you used to it. The ASA have five different CLI modes which are command line interface modes very similar to that of a Cisco device. So we have raw monitor mode, we have user X, privilege X, global config and then we have interface configuration mode. Now there are some differences where we may not have like line configuration mode but there is router configuration mode, there is no VDI configuration mode. So it does have some differences. Even though you notice that the command line looks somewhat similar but let's just go through this and we will jump on to the ASA here. And just to again put things into context, this is already a functioning ASA but we are going to do some, we will save the configuration, we'll do a reboot. Just take a look here at our topology or here at Game On Network. Since we are building this from scratch for them, they don't have any traffic going through it right now. So we are okay, but basically we are going to be working on the firewall here that provide the internet connection. So I'm going to save the configuration of, we will do a short run and actually let's just do a copy run D0 and let's just call it backup.cfg and there we go. We got a nice backup so we can do a DAR and there we go, we got a backup.cfg. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to reload the device and let's just start this from scratch. Now, I didn't mention it has a raw monitor mode. Now, raw monitor is the mode that you are going to use to do very low level stuff like a password recovery or recovering from a corrupted image, something like that. So as soon as it reboots here, there we go with our shutdown. As it comes back up, it will give us an option to go into raw monitor mode. And so here it comes back up, doing its reboot and we are going to watch for it to tell us when to hit escape. Okay, so now we are going to hit escape. We saw the message, use break or escape to interrupt boot. And now we are at raw monitor mode. And so in raw monitor, if you just hit the question mark and hit enter, you'll notice that we don't have very many commands. In fact, that's it. But the commands that we do have are designed to help us get back on our feet. So we can go in here and we can change the configuration register. We can change some boot values, we can set an address, we can define the file that we want to load from a TFTP server, the gateway, we can ping to test connectivity, we could use the server, server command to define where the server is located that I'm going to be pulling my configuration file from or my new operating system that I'm going to use. We can reboot, reload, reset, we can set some values here like set our interface values. So again, this is not really a functioning device. When we are in this mode, it's used for very low level, get us back on our feet type operation. So what I will do, I'll just say reset and I'll go ahead and reboot for me. And get me back into the ASA in an operational mode. Okay, so we can let it count down to reboot. Or we can hit the space bar and it will immediately boot for us. So now it has located our ASA 952 image on the disk boot. The boot disk D0 in this case and it's going to load it. Okay, we got some information about our license and the features that are enabled and disabled. Okay, so it did a power on self test that was complete. 
no problem there we passed and we are at our first mode of an operational ASA and this is what's known as user mode and so if I'm in user mode I can issue the question mark you see I don't have very much to do here one of the things that you're going to do you want to do to get into privilege execution mode and to do that we are going to type enable and it's prompting me for a password now by default there's no password set so we just hit the enter key or carry the return now we are in privilege exec execute mode now I'll do a question mark here and you will notice that just like on the routers you learned this in the CCNA you got a lot more commands available to you in privilege execute mode so very similar commands to that of a router so for example show running config this is our running configuration interfaces IP addresses there is some additional configuration in the in here that may be new to you because of the way that an ASA functions but there's our running configuration we can do a show startup config and we have a startup configuration very similar to the way that we do on a router so we can do show flash now essentially this is showing uh, d0 and so adr would give us a very similar output you'll notice that there is some differences between the two we don't necessarily see everything when we do the DAR but when we did the show flash we got some additional information it's showing me folders and then what's in the folder so here it shows me that this is a folder a directory so that's a d4 directory and you actually have to change directories CD into core dump info and then do a DAR that you actually see the core dump dot cfg file whereas the show flash it actually told us there's a core dump directory and then in core dump there is a core dump cfg so a little bit of different view even though you're looking at basically the same thing you're letting, looking at the file you can do your cd and then a dar and it takes you right back to the main directory so some basic navigation here folders through so that was our privilege execution mode which is prerequisite is, is to do any configuration well if you want to do configuration we got to go into config config mode which is what uh, our which is would call a global configuration mode now is the global configuration mode i can do a question mark you'll see there's a number of things that we can configure here for example the access list option is something i can configure here or i could access an interface g0 bar 1 for example interface gigabit is in it 1 bar 0 uh, sorry 1 bar 1 there we go and now i'm in another mode which is interface configuration mode just like we would do on a router and it's going to give me access to the commands that apply just to that interfaces so we have seen a couple of different modes we also could back out of here uh, I can type the right router OSPF1 and now I'm config router so this is another configuration mode it's a router configuration mode specifically for OSPF now if I do show run in OSPF. Let's see if it's created. I don't have to do here because I can issue show commands right from the global config mode. So that's a big difference between the router. So on a router, you would have to do show run. Uh, if you were in a global config mode, you can see it didn't take that output or that input. Instead, we just issue a regular show command. So I can do show run for example and it knows that what I'm trying to do. So again, again very different. Uh, now I'm going to get right off. Let's just take a look at OSPF. 
which uh, OSPF is configured. So I'm not going to get right of it because again, this is a gateway device. It is in the lab environment right now. It's providing connectivity for the rest. We're kind of building this all from scratch. So we go through here, but there's some elements that are already working. So we're not going to mess with that. Okay. So that's the basic navigation of the interface on an ASA through different modes. Now let's talk about what we would do to get the basic stuff to on one of these devices.